Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and welcome to another edition of On the Line of Scrimmage, which is our debate show here at Football Game Plan, and I've been challenged by our new contestant, Norman, who wants to debate me on the topic, who would have a better season as a rookie, E.J. Manuel or Geno Smith? Now here we let you guys vote on who won this debate. You vote at the bottom of this video. But right now, let's get this thing started. I'm going to let you start first. I always play defense. Tell me who you think will have the better rookie season and why. All right. Mark Sanchez basically played himself out the job. With the lack of talent around him and the horrible offensive line, uh, I think the Jets have a better chance of win having a better season if they let Geno start. They have the eighth ring defense. Uh, the division is kind of in a slump right now with the scandal that's going on with the Patriots. Um, they boasted their defense with uh, D. Miller and Sheldon Richardson. So um, I think they're going. I think they have a little more leeway with letting Geno start because he's going to hand the ball off. and They're going to play defense. So with opponents only scoring 22 points a game, they have uh, more chance to get ahead than play from behind. See, right there, I got I to gotta stop you because I think E.J. Manuel will have the better season. You've a great case. However, when you look at this Buffalo football team, you have to like their weapons. They have Robert Woods, they drafted out of USC. Derrick Rogers, an undrafted free agent. They also have Stevie Johnson and C.J. Spiller. I just gave you four quality options. Can you give me four quality receiving and running back options for the New York Jets? Well, they have Chris Ivory, who's a who's a good back, but I think was shelled it was was held in the shell in New Orleans offense because they're gonna throw the ball forty times. But if they're gonna give him twenty, twenty two times a game, plus split carries with uh the rest of the, the depth that they have at running back, I think they're gonna have a good fifteen hundred yard season rushing with the three backs they have. And uh the Buffalo Bills is twenty second rank. You can't name me anybody else other than Mario Williams. That's on that defense who's going to contribute. You were, and they have to defend the Patriots' uh, passing attack. And uh, they're also going to have to play defense against Miami and Mike Williams uh, down south. Well, I'll and, tell you right now, they got Mario Williams, Kyle Williams, Marcel Darius, Jarius Bird, Stephon Gilmore. You want, you want me to keep going? Yes. They, they drive to Kiko Alonzo. They have Keith Pugh as an undrafted free agent. You want me to keep going? And well, Williams moving to safety. There's way more options for the Bills, both offensively and defensively, than they are for the Jets. You still haven't named me a playmaker at receiver for the Jets. So you just think they're going to run the football 50 times a game and that's going to be successful? Well, I think they're going to model this up kind of after the uh, the Vikings. They're going, to, they're going to hand the pill off and they're going to play the defense. But Geno Smith, he doesn't turn the ball over much. He's only had 14 interceptions in two years that he had in college, starting all games. Uh, and so he's very accurate. Um, they're going to get put him in the dink and dunk office because they lack the Who's offensive team. Who's catching the football, though? <laughs> I'm still waiting for you to name the receiver option. Who's catching the football? You have faith in Stephen Hill? I have zero faith in Stephen Hill, but uh, I think somebody's going to emerge. They, they're going to have to do something. But uh, I, I just don't think the cornerbacks that match up in the in the AFC East are, are going to going to help defend them. Not the defend who? The Re Jets. The Jets wide receivers that you yeah. have yet to name. You know what? We're going to stop the debate right here. We're going to let the fans vote. You guys vote. Who won this debate at the bottom of this video? Who's a better quarterback, EJ Manuel or Geno Smith? Who made the better case for their guy? And if you have any other debates that you want to debate me with, hit me up on Twitter at FBallGamePlan with the hashtag debate me.